Now, going back to the new record, I want to talk about a few of the songs and maybe tell me what your, your favorite is. There's a fantastic song, I think it's the closing track, called Not Enough. Uh, tell us about that song, who's the vocalist on that, and just tell us a bit about the making of that record. Well, the, that track really um, uh, started me just playing around on um, a Fender Rhodes piano, not even intended to make a track for my album, but I was working on something else. And um, I started to playing around and I, I got this groove and I was like, maybe I should do something with this. And then I had this eight bar loop I started jamming along with a really bad sounding drum computer that is still in the mix and it turned out to be you know, a really nice element to that song. And then I picked up a bass guitar and then pretty soon you know, the, what I wanted with that track was already there. It just came together in less than 20 minutes to 30 minutes. And um, at the time I was already working with uh, Nicole Morier from, uh, from uh, Electrocute. Um, working on some other songs and she walked in I had a I was supposed to meet with her she really loved the track and she was like give me the track I'll write some lyrics for it and I'll I'll, I'll find you a good uh, vocalist and eventually uh, Gus um, sang on the track and um, it w worked out really really nice they sang actually together like she sang, she's singing the chorus together with him and uh, it's, it's a, yeah, I mean, it turned out really nice. I'm really happy with it. And it's my closing track in the, on the live gigs as well. Uh, do you have a, uh, a favorite song that you feel is a real achievement for you on the album? Because some of them, the detail work, the, um, the cut-ups in vocal samples, the rhythms uh, are, are really complicated. And I hear what you're saying, and, and sometimes you don't want to overproduce, because especially with dance music, sometimes it's a very simplistic yeah. thing that, that really is most effective, so you don't want to, to obscure that. Um, is there a favorite song? Or point out an example on the album where you feel like, this, this I'm very happy with. Well, there, there are two songs regarding that. Uh, one is definitely a, a more techno-oriented track, which is called uh, Zagen, which is Dutch. Most people in, uh, in uh, the States refer to it as Sage, but uh, it's Saga, which just means, you know, the, the lumber tech, you know, just like selling <laughs> like a big, a big trunk, you know, uh, which is Dutch for, you know, for categorizing something as like pretty heavy and straightforward, very two-dimensional. And that's what the track is. It has like one riff and it develops over three, four minutes to a peak and then that's the, that's the song, you know, that, that's all it is. But it's done really effectively and every time I play it live it's, it's, a, it's a really good vibe. And the other song that I'm really proud of and that's really in-depth uh, production, it's also a little bit different song to the album, it's this song I did with Nicole which is called Mad Pursuit. It has this really dirty Quentin Tarantino, yeah. uh, Robert Rodriguez uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, vibe to it and uh, that has a huge amount of layers and sounds and I'm really happy with how everything turned out and uh, how that you know comes across. That's a very distinctive song in the album, it almost yeah. has a uh, western kind of feel yeah, to totally. it. Yeah, totally. Yeah, there's a nice guitar work that feels yeah. very western. And the lyrics are really, really messy and really dirty on that one, even though the whole thing sounds very smooth, but it's all like under the surface. It's basically a guy that fucks with the wrong woman, and you know, and she chases him down and he gets, uh, he, he makes a mistake in driving a car and he burns himself to death, so. Wow, how <laughs> cheerful. Cheerful. So positive. 